Hey, so you want to figure out how to replace the uh, disk drive, you know, fix the rubber gasket in it because for some reason your uh, Xbox disk tray is not coming out as well anymore by pushing the button. Maybe you have to do the little trick with the paperclip in here. You could check out um, some videos online. I may have one already, so check that out in the description down below. Um, but yeah, if it's not working right, you're going to want to do this. So. I have a video that shows you how to open this already. Check out that video if you need to figure it out. If you already know how to open this, well, this is the next part. You're going to get to this point where you have the hard drive already out because it is in the way of the other one, the DVD drive, and you're going to want to take the screws out. There is going to be, I believe, either two. There is one in here and one in here. And you take those out and you'll be able to pull this out a little bit. From there, there's this is the power cable to the motherboard. You either go on to, um, let's see, you're gonna want to disconnect the IDE cable because it's not give you any slack to get it out. Disconnect that, and once this, once you have taken off this one, you're able to get this plastic piece a little bit moving. So you can either disconnect this from the DVD drive or the motherboard, whichever is easier. For me, it was easier to take this one out. I was able to pull it out from there. Now, once you do that, you want to pull it up straight because you need to take out this plastic piece. I didn't break anything. It's just, it was previously taken apart. You're going to pull it up straight. You have the cable disconnected already. You don't want to then move the Xbox away because you need some room to work on. And you're, we're going to be working on this, getting this open. See, this is the uh, DVD drive. You want to take this off. So you're going to want to do is disconnect the um, plastic holder I guess to the system there's a little um, groove in here I think you're gonna want to pull it pull it like that and out and they'll be on the other side you want to pull it out too. make sure to be careful with this it probably could break if you were too uh, hard with this to put set this piece to the side now we're gonna be working on this so I have the screws taken out from this already but they are just normal uh, Phillips ones they're not security uh, bits which um, if you do need a security bit tool I'll put one in the description down below if you really need one but you're gonna need this for <laughs> that part if you've already taken out you've probably got done that maybe if you've been watching this video so now take these four out with the screwdriver there's gonna be one in each corner because we need to take out the plastic shielding plastic shield the metal shielding for this uh, drive there's basically two different pieces you're gonna take it apart and there's gonna be some type of uh, like metal latching system here. So you're gonna to have to figure out how to get that apart. Like that. You can see this is the top part. I'm gonna set this to the side. You can see this is the inside of the Xbox original disc drive. So we're gonna to need to take off also the other side. So you take that off, set it to the side. This is the insides of it right here. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, it's not too dirty. You're gonna flip this over. You see, remember, don't touch the laser because you can get it dirty and you may scratch it. Um, and now you notice that this part doesn't come out. So you're gonna have to figure out the release system. So flip it over. And right around here, I'm gonna get a tool. Just get something to stick it in here. You see there's this um, white part in here. Let's probably zoom in. There's this white part right here. So let's put this aside and you want to push it up because that will give you the release for the disc tray. Push it up as much as you can. It doesn't move that far. And now it releases the um, tray right here so you're able to move it. And the part you want to release or I mean fix and replace is uh, this right here is the reason why it doesn't open and close as well. It is a little rubber uh, belt gasket I think a belt would be more appropriate for this I've already replaced it but I will show you the old one the old one is right here this one you could tell it doesn't keep its perfect round shape I have bought some other ones you're gonna need these to get these online there's a link in the description up below but um, basically it's it's a rubber belt and you get a few in a pack it's probably better that way because it will be cheaper if you buy one it's probably cost a dollar or two so it's better just to buy a few if you need a few extra if you're just doing this once I guess you could do that but it's in the description down below you're gonna get this let's throw it aside 
and they're going to be a great uh, circular size. You can tell this one's worn. It does not um, keep its old original shape anymore. It's more of like an egg. So this one, you're going to want to take it out. It's easy. You get a tool and you want to pull it out from the side from here. There's two different wheels and gears. You want to pull it out from here, take it out. And uh, it's pretty easy. Make sure you're going to, you need room to get this uh, wheel out. I mean, rubber gasket out. Because this, if you're going to work, you can't do it. It's just, you're not going to be possible to do it. So move this apart. You got some work, you take it out. And if you want, you could clean the wheel. Um, you could get a cotton swab with um, isopropyl alcohol um, and clean the wheel off in there. Don't have it, if this is wet with a, a rubbing alcohol, don't have it touch the rubber because it will wear down the rubber because rubber and rubbing alcohol don't go as well together because it may cause it to go bad sooner. So make sure you clean out the inside of these wheels, turn them around and then let it dry. Rubbing alcohol dries pretty quick, but just still let it dry. And then once it's dry, you're able to get your new ones right here. And you're gonna wanna put it around, you know, with the tool, with your hand, however well, cause it's pretty easy to do. It's just for a belt, it's flexible, it will fit in there. Once you have it in these two, you can see it, how it rolls. If it rolls, that's good. <laughs> so once you got it in, you want to just put it all the way back. You can tell it is all the way back because it's locked now. So you don't have to do anything with the back side. It's all locked. And now you just want to put it back together the same way you did, uh, just in reverse. So you know, get the pieces, put it back together, and uh, there you go. You should be able to have a working disk drive when you push the button on the Xbox. So thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to check out some other videos. Um, there will be a playlist you can check out if you need to fix other things related to Xbox or other systems. Check it down in the description down below and possibly an end card. Thank you guys for watching. Stick around by subscribing if you want to. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully it helps you guys out. So yeah, take care and be safe out there.